Let's take a look at Unreal Engine 5.1's new import dialog box. I'm gonna drag this over. Now, as you can see, this is Unreal Engine 5.1. You can tell because at the top right of the screen, there's a 5.1. Unreal Engine 5.0 open. So let's drag Mr. Cambato. So this is the, I guess you could say the legacy. Now this is the new import box. One thing I like about it is that I can actually expand this. Can I do this in the old and busted? No, it doesn't look like. So they made uh, in 5.1, as you can see, there's a lot of UI changes. Now this, this seems, this does, even though this is new, this is, this seems familiar. I believe this is, they took this from somewhere else, this layout or this design or module, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it's this category. So there's general animation sequences, materials, skeletal meshes, static meshes, textures, and all. So I like that you can categorize things now. And you know what, my, my, I think my favorite feature is just actually expanding this. Expanding this. And what I actually love to do, if you don't know, you can hit this gear. Whenever you see this gear in, in the interface, you can hit this gear and collapse all categories. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't, that's not in uh, the legacy version or the previous version. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. We have this all, okay. FBX information. Let's see if that's anywhere. Well, maybe they, it's probably here somewhere. Well, what in the materials, let's see. Build, maybe they took it out. I don't see, it's probably some, it's probably somewhere. Textures. Maybe they, I, I don't know, maybe they took it out. <laughs> maybe they took it out. Let's see. Expand all. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess it, it's usually under FB, uh, material. So where's material? I don't see it. It's, I don't know. It's, it's probably, I'm guessing maybe it's here somewhere, but I just overlooked it, but you can see it for yourself. All right, let's check the material section. So for the material section, there's import textures, search location, material import method, advanced. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. Well, let's go to materials. Import material. It doesn't look. It looks like they they chopped that out, or or maybe they moved that to textures. Yeah, maybe they moved that to textures. Import textures. Import UDMs. preferred oh that's texture so well material one two three it looks like there's just import as material import materials okay it I, I don't see it it looks like they reduced or they maybe they moved this to a different location but let's just move forward let's look at transform there's import translation rotation and the scale. Okay, so that's here. It's just under common. All right, so that's in intact. Mesh, so skeletal mesh, build nanite, missing, generate missing collision, advanced and all this 
Goobity goo. So it looks like mesh has been split into static, a uh, skeletal mesh, and static mesh. So it looks like there's it's, it's there's more robust robust options. All right, let's close these. So for the mesh, uh, force all mesh as type static. Okay, I don't think that's if it's here. I I haven't noticed it. Okay, so that's that's cool. There's a force option. Uh, import LODs, vertex color, vertex color override, build. I don't think I, I don't know. I think that's combined meshes. I think that's, I, I think that's there. Or maybe it's not. Okay. Yeah, they, it looks like they, they just reorganized. Uh, remove degenerators. I mean, remove de degenerates. Import animations only. Common meshes. Okay. Static meshes. Okay. So in the skeletal mesh, looks like nanite. It's still it's still not working with uh, the skeletal meshes. So here's your nanite information. Generate light map. UVs. Okay. Distance filled resolution scale. Is that in here? I don't I don't think so. So I guess that's new. Let's take a look at that. Uh, built nanite, built reverse index buffer. If enabled, this option will make sure the static mesh build a reverse index buffer buffer. Two sided defense field generation enable physic physical material mass. Minimum light map resolution source light map index. So it's, I mean, it's basically just real robust. You can pause the screen if you, if you're interested, you can just pause the screen yourself. Textures, import UMDs, and what's nice is that you can kind of have it sort of like the old style.